Yo, what's going on guys? Finally, I'm going to review the newest extra class being Soldier. This class just got released a day ago or two. I, I don't remember at the time of recording this video. It was probably a day ago. But this is the upgraded variant of Gunslinger, one of my favorite classes in the game. Just like Gunslinger, the specialty weapons on this class are double gun, meaning that if you want to optimize your power on the home screen, this class is being your number one option. Why is that relevant? If you want to increase your EP and, you know, have a huge power number, this is the class you're looking to run. Now, Soldier has taken a lot of, like, all other extra classes, the old school, the old school moves of Gunslinger and made them a little bit more modern to keep it up with the power creep. Now, skill one is three round burst. It's a three round burst. You get guaranteed triple attacks for one turn and you perform a one foe attack with no turn progression. Think of a unit like Dante skill three. It's the same thing. You get a free attack. Well, one, uh, one auto, just keep that in mind, it's one auto, and if you have something like Sun, it does not count as a double auto, so if you're trying to abuse it with Sun, it doesn't work that way. One thing I will note though, that it does eat up six bullets in one turn, so it's best combined after an Ogi. It does have a very short cooldown, so it's a very good skill, and you'll be using this a lot for a good way to ramp up. The next skill is open fire. Open fire is a deal one foe attacks until all bullets are used. Just like, um, just like uh, three round burst, it does not eat up a turn and it will use every bullet you have. Ideally, you should gain charge bar um, to get a hundred after this. But if you don't, you're gonna be in a bad situation. Hopefully you would have reload. But just do know it eats up all your bullets. So your only option after open fire is usually to Ogi. The next skill is Fortitude. Now this skill has a very unique um, buff. It gains Adversary. Adversary is a buff that boosts all damage done and counterattacks. So all uh, single target hits and counterattacks are boosted. Also, it applies jammed effect, which is stuff from Zoe. If you guys have Zoe, Bea has the same effect. It's pretty common now. And you also gain a boost to your critical hit rate. It goes up to 70% 70, uh, 70 damage on crit and 50% critical hit rate. Not a bad skill. Um, It's not a bad skill at all, actually. I don't know if it's worth hitting because the soldier is usually a class where you have a lot of raw damage on your main character. So... It may not be ultra valuable, but it does increase the damage cap. So that's definitely very good. And for the last skill, we're looking at Gorilla Tactics. Now this skill is kind of cool. It boosted your caster's dodge rate and charge bar gain. So you gain 50% dodge rate and you gain 30% charge bar gain. Also, you gain a buff called Gorilla Warfare. Four hits of elemental damage to a foe upon dodging when Gorilla Warfare is in effect. Do note that Gorilla Warfare only lasts two turns, so it's not that reliable. It's still a 50% chance of dodging, and you get about a 1 million nuke. So it's okay, but it's, it's not reliable, I would say. It's not reliable. Uh, I'll probably just go over the base skills. The base skills are still the same from Gunsling. You got triple a uh, triple threat or still not a trine. Um, this skill is a, a stackable attack. Every time you gain about 40% attack, but you also lose 20% defense. The attack caps at 200%, and I believe defense down caps at 100%. And you also get triple attack for one turn. I may be wrong on those numbers. It's been a while since I used this skill about two years, so do forgive me, but I do b remember it being like that. Um, lock and load is your reload skill. It allows you to reload without having to Ogi. 
it's not a bad skill. The one problem with it is that it does have a very hefty cooldown. Eight turns is rather long, but it's one of your only options if you're using a unit like Fairy or Alon to really keep your bullets up because you cannot Ogi with those units. If you've probably been noticing in the um, Twitter videos and stuff like that, a one turn Nightmare 90 for fire and light, it does require you to use Reload. Now, support skills are pretty okay. You got Season Survivalist bonus effect for one foe attacks based on the type of bullets loaded into a main weapon. Boost to one foe damage cap. That's why you'll be seeing these videos of main character hitting up to 970k due to this skill. Now, the second skill, one person army or one man army. I'm probably they probably want to meant they probably wanted to say one man army, but they said one person army. <laughs> Weird. Uh, boost to attack and dodge rate based on number of turns passed. I don't know how many this caps at, I believe. I think it caps at 20. I think it's 20 and it's 1% and 1%. I may be wrong on that though. Also, upon leveling this class to the max level, you do gain 10% triple attack, which is not bad. That's probably the best thing about leveling this class is that you do get inherent triple attack just from playing the class in general. Now, as you probably know, this video is going to be really long. Um, I probably will be doing bullets in its own separate video due to how in-depth the bullets can be. There's, I'm still testing bullets. I will sell my bullets just in case people want to take a look at them. They're not done yet. So right now I'm using Enhancing Cell. It increases your, your damage cap for... It has a chance, rather, to... Increase the damage cap for your party. Let's go with bullet casting actually. It's a little bit better here. So supplemental damage is a damage cap increase. It's on weapons like Akasa weapons. Now I'm also farming the gold bullet right now. Uh, right now I have one gold bullet. I'm not have I don't have gold bullet two yet, but currently that's what I'm working on. I have sleep and charm for the video. Um, these two I don't think they're that great. To be honest, but I did want to use it with Monkey. If you didn't know, I will be I will be playing Wind by the bottom two bullets. Uh, Secretary's point is supposed to be Zeph's point. I just haven't got enough of the animas yet, so that's why this is on this is one Zeph and this one Secretarius. So it'll be done in the future, but I wanted to get the video out, and this is my current bullets at the moment. So I will be doing a uh, review of all the bullets and the ones I like the most. But for general purpose, I'll just go over the, a couple ones that I know that are really good. So the ones I like is Enhancing Cell. I like this one a lot. Um, you could, that's why I have it. And I like the gold, the golden bullet. Those two are like the most notable right now. Uh, abs, obviously in more time, I'll talk more about the bullets in the future. But for people who really want to know about the bullets I like the most, those two are the most right now. But let's get to a battle and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we're going to be taking on Medusa high level with Grimnir. I think this will be the first time I ever did a Medusa high level video, actually. Weirdly, weirdly enough, I, I may be wrong on that, but I think it'll be the first time. And it'll be the first time using Grimnir in a video. Um, originally, I was going to take on Gilgamesh, which I did. But I kind of forgot monkey skill 2 for bonus damage. I'm so used to using monkey skill 2 defensively that I don't remember to use it offensively when I can. So because of that, um, I wanted to redo the video again. We're going to be all the buffs turn 1, because why not? Does it hurt? We're also going to use open reload. Let's get started. Hopefully we can apply the charm and the sleep and everything on my bullets. If not, oh well. I forgot what they changed about Medusa. I don't. Rem I didn't look at it, but I know they changed something about Medusa. I just don't remember what it was though. Oh, so we did hit a lot of debuffs. Unfortunately, since it's the third bullet, um, it gets overwritten the the sleep. So that's unfortunate. It would have been better if I used skill one instead of open fire. But I wasn't expecting it to hit. To be honest. 
we have Veil, so this doesn't do anything to us. Oh, we get local debuff now. Oh, that's what it does. Okay, let's start using Monkey on scale 1. Yeah. I don't remember what this boss does, but I don't think it does anything. That's scary, to my knowledge. I could be wrong, though. Uh, we're gonna drop Kimok here. We got a lot of mirror image on this team, so we might as well use it when we can. I, I think they lowered the health on it too. I, I don't remember health being this low. I remember having like the uh, having a, a couple million health, hundred million health, I think, on the snake. I think the main body had two hundred million, and the snake had a hundred million. It's been a while since I've done Medusa high level though, so I may be wrong on that. Uh, we'll just auto into it. At least it still has a higher defense, so that's one thing to note. At least it looks like it, it still has a higher defense. Oh, is the, is the reflect local now? That, look, that reflect looks a little bit different. I believe it looks local. Go. Um, I'm gonna hit Mist again. I don't think I'll apply uh, Breach again, though. I don't think it's worth it. I think we should be able to kill it before Breach runs out. Hopefully. We'll need a Sleep proc, I think. Okay. So let's see if we hit Sleep here or not. I'm gonna drop the Bumble. Let's check here. So the third bullet has the ability to sleep. That's why I like to put it on the third bullet. But we'll see what happens here. So we did get the sleep. So you can see that the third bullet being sleep does give you a pretty cool combination here. Uh, we'll use skill two on the Yogi. I don't believe this is enough to kill it though, but it could be enough to get a good amount of damage on it. After this, I'm probably going to stop letting Medusa Ogi. I have a feeling to sneeze, and I don't know why. i Bahamut here. I think Grim, I think main character still had the bonus damage, so we're going to put it on Grim there now. And we're going to Ogi. Okay, cool. I believe you take less damage on Reflect than you OG. I could be wrong, though. Because when you triple attack, I think you take three hits of it. Opposed to when you OG, it's only one hit. It's been a while, though. So we're going to activate Open Fire. Fly Defense down again. I probably should have done that earlier. Uh, what's her skill? What's Grimner's skill one at? Cool down? We'll use it now. Okay. Oh, oh, right here. I'm trying to set up for Neo skill four. This is up in two turns. We should be fine though. We're gonna delay. I'll do this monkey kill three again. Ah, unfortunate. I think that was a double attack. So that does kind of screw us up a little bit. Also, if anyone's asking about the summons, I don't have S um S R. Uh, judgment really done here on this account, so in just in case anybody's wondering about that, I'm gonna apply debuffs here. 
gonna auto. You got sleep to hack activate though. That's really good. We do have a really awkward moment where we have 80, 98 on our main character. So we auto one more time. Then we'll Ogi. And then after we Ogi, we're going to use Neo's skill, I believe. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to Ogi here. We're going to hit it on Neo. Raphael. I don't want to take an Ogi if I can avoid it. We'll see though. I, I believe there's Twilight effect on the Raphael call. Yeah. So now we're going to use Bahamut. We can activate Coma. We'll use this. I guess we'll use this as well. And we get a little bit more damage. Okay. We really have hit up a million on a on, uh, main character. Didn't hit nearly as hard as Grimnir, though. Unfortunately. Oh, we missed. Um, that's unfortunate. Hmm. I guess we'll Ogi. I don't want to Ogi, but we're gonna have to. We switch we're in. So that's unfortunate. So the bullets are gonna be out, but the turn afterwards, we should be able to kill it. This is one of the problems with the class is that it does become kind of hard to um, have everything set up properly because of the bullets. But do Selena. I don't remember what this does, but we have Veil, so it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, it's not a problem to worry about. Actually, I pro if I remember correctly, the boss does have a um, very strong damage move near 10%. So I don't want to die to that, so I'm just going to use the Uncle, and then when you see up. This is ensure that we just don't die. <laughs> I don't want to end up dying. That'd be kind of embarrassing. We have one more turn on Neo Skill 4. That could be what kills it. Hopefully. Cool. We'll use this. And we'll use Sia. I don't know if we could be at full health, but I guess we should. Why not? Okay. So we get, did we take the damage proc on it? I guess we I guess we need we had more damage than we really required. But you know, it doesn't hurt to be safe. I mean, But you can see the boss really didn't get to do anything due to the to the sleep bullet and monkey. The sleep bullet is very strong with monkey. I feel. Um, the charm bullet didn't really do anything. I'm, I'm. It may be worth to do double sleep bullets. I, I'm not sure though, but I think it may be worth it to put two sleep bullets for wind when you're playing with monkey. Uh, I may need a little bit more testing on it. I'll probably make it a meme video. But hopefully you guys enjoyed watching and thank you for uh, watching the video. I'll see you guys next time and bye.